Wait, hold up, hold up. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? <laughs> oh my God. y'all let's talk about this all right we're gonna get into looking at this thing looking at the specs and seeing what this v copter falcon is all about but first welcome to the gadget inspector channel where we're into all kinds of drones and all kinds of gadgets if you're into that kind of stuff you are in the right place my friend Please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click that bell. That way you'll know when I upload new videos. <laughs> all right, y'all, let's go ahead and take a look at what this thing is all about. So a uh, good brother that watches my channel sent me a link, uh, sent me an email with a link out here. This is Zero Zero Robotics. Uh, if you're not familiar with this uh, company, they made a couple of um, selfie drones called the hover and the hover 2 or it was the hover camera passport and the hover 2 and i'll show you this real quick just so you can have some context because you probably remember this but um not that popular i don't think but this v-copter falcon <laughs> i'm interested now first off let me show you how much it's going to be so right now they're taking pre-orders 6.99 for pre-orders hundred dollar deposit it's going to be 9.99 when it's released so sounds like it's very similar to what we've seen with the sky deal too right okay let's go back <laughs> oh hang on you probably want to see some of this right look at this so it has two rotors it is foldable see this it folds down like the mavic there's the controller and then it looks like that's everything you get in the package okay <laughs> Oh man, okay, now you're gonna trip off of this spec right here, right here, 50 minutes of flight time. Okay, now we all know this, whenever they advertise and market flight time, it's always in ideal conditions. But let's say you knock off 10 minutes off of that. That's 40 minutes of flight time. <laughs> That's the longest flight time of any drone that I've seen recently, consumer uh, level at least so you can see tilt rotor control um, so it looks like the rotors tilt somehow uh, and you saw that it's a uh, v-shaped so it has the two rotors the two motors that's crazy it has a three axis gimbal 4k it has GPS return to home seven kilometers transmission what's seven kilometers seven kilometers to miles is about 4.3 miles 4.3 miles of range okay advertised okay let's see what else this thing can do look at it man it is a different looking drone but i'm digging it i'm digging it and you can see some of the cues from the mavic this looks like the uh, obstacle avoidance sensors here in the front low noise profile okay tilt rotor technology sophisticated industrial design non-linear dynamic modeling and control okay gobbledygook three axis um 4k okay it has a uh same sensor size as we're used to seeing on the original mavic and the mavic airs and so forth uh, most drones have this size sensor the mavic 2 pro is the exception with the one inch sensor 
12 megapixels. It does have a follow a auto follow function, as you can see here. I'll go ahead and play that if you want me to. So, all right, you're not moving very fast, dude. So it does have some obstacle avoidance as well with the follow mode. Let's see what it shows us here. Okay, nothing. It's kind of just like a graphic. Man, I'm I'm kind of geek for this one, man. Seven kilometers of range. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Okay, let's go back here. Well, hang on. Let's go to the specs. So we'll have a full spec sheet here. And I'll put these in the description box. I'll put a link to this so you can go and check it out for yourself. <laughs> but man, I am geeked about this. Oh, they do provide a wind scale resistance rating, grade five. Let me look that up and see what the heck that means and translates to because, you know, it only has the two rotors. So that's one of the things that I would be concerned with is sort of how they're handling the um, uh, center weight um, and the equilibrium of a drone like that. Okay, so I can find much on what grade five wind resistance is. I kept coming up with uh, the classes of, of wind speed for hurricanes and uh, those were pretty high. So I'm pretty sure that's not what this is alluding to. At least I hope that's not what they're getting at. Here's your weight, 730 grams. So it's, uh, you know, it's not super light. Um, but just for context, I'm going to look up what the Mavic 2 Pro and say the Evo weights are. Okay, so the Mavic 2 Pro weighs 907 grams. So that gives you a little context. Let's look up what the... Um, the Skydio 2 weight is. The Skydio 2 weighs 775 grams. And let's check out the Evo. Okay, and the Altel Evo weighs 863 grams. So that gives us some context. It has eight gigabytes of internal storage, similar to the Mavic 2 Pro, and it can take up to a 256 gigabyte external micro SD. It has GPS and GLONASS. Uh, what else? Those are the dimensions. Three axis gimbal. Uh, pitch is 90 degrees. Uh, max obstacle avoidance speed is seven meters per second, which is seven meters per second, two miles per hour. That's about 15 miles per hour. Okay, there's your sensor size. We looked at that already. Looks like the field of view is about 77 degrees. And let's do a little bit of a comparison there. Uh, 94 degree field of view on the Evo. Um, just, just for quick context, you guys. Um, here are all of your video resolutions. Looks like the highest is 4K at 30 frames. And then it looks like 2.7K on down. The highest frame rate is 60. Looks like it does do 120 frames per second in 1080, 1080p. Looks like uh, it will shoot in RAW. And let's see, control distance 7,000 meters. That's far, <laughs> 22,000. That's about four miles, about the four miles that we uh, that we saw before in terms of this is control range. Um, and then the uh, I wonder if that's what they're getting at. Yeah, not sure what the live video feed range would be, but control range looks like it's the four miles uh, <clears throat> battery time. I'm sure that's getting at how long it takes to charge it. <laughs> There's a capacity 4500. Uh, milliamp hour. Wow. How are they doing this with that size battery? 50 minutes that they're advertising and that, at that weight. Wow. I got to see more. The battery itself weighs 390, uh, 329 grams. Okay. So figure the drone itself is about half of that, right? A little over. Well, what's that? Four. Yeah. About 400. About 400 grams the drone itself weighs. Wow. 
Okay, that's everything that we can see there. Let me see if I can get you more photos. But there's the photo of the drone right there. Okay, so final thoughts for me are, I am intrigued, like really, really intrigued. I was intrigued by the Skydio 2. I was intrigued by the Mavic Mini to a much lesser extent. But this, this is different. <laughs> this is unique. Um, this is something that I think all of us, maybe we didn't know it, but we're looking for something different, right? The, the industry, the releases have begun to get stale. DJI is the leader, right? And what they do, everyone essentially copies or does some type of variation on it. And this too is a variation on the foldable drone, right? But this is the first I've seen with two motors only. That's interesting. So I think I might be placing an order for this one, you guys. What do you think? What do you think? You think I should order it? Are you considering doing a pre-order on it? Let me know down in the comments. And uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this, man. Uh, I'm sure you'll see the flood of videos on it pretty soon, like we always do. Um, but uh, exciting times in the drone world. So if you're a drone enthusiast like me, I'm sure you're very excited for what's going on right now. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't just tell them. Show them. <laughs> Later.